Ladies and gentlemen, this is yet another example of media deliberately, not unintentionally, deliberately, with intent, with motive, with an agenda, deliberately editing, manipulating, distorting a quote from President Trump or somebody in his administration. When they say that Trump said this, he never, he almost never said it within the context of how they spin the quote. They demand context, nuance, they demand um, plausible deniability from any nefarious intent when quoted about something that doesn't work out for the left or does, that doesn't work out for a Democratic uh, congressman or congresswoman. But if it's President Trump, they'll selectively edit the quote. They'll ascribe intent, nefarious motive, and they'll say, you see, this is Trump's America. Or they'll just make it up. Oh, he said this about a country. How do you know? Uh, well, a Democratic staffer said that he said something. Or they'll just buy a dossier. But we have here NBC admits Chuck Todd's Meet the Press deceptively edited Barr's remark on Flynn. Now, before we get to this here, NBC News Chuck Todd aired a deceptively edited clip of Attorney General Bill Barr discussing the Michael Flynn case in his Meet the, Meet the Press broadcast on Sunday, prompting the network to concede the mistake hours later, but there is still no word on whether uh, Todd will apologize on air. Asked by CBS News, Catherine Herridge how history will judge the DOJ's decision, decision to move to dismiss Flynn. Barr initially responded laughing, well, history is written by, written by the winners, so it largely depends on who's writing the history. After the brief clip aired, Todd remarked that he was struck by the cynicism of the answer. It's a correct answer, but he's the attorney general. He didn't make the case that he was upholding the rule of law. He was almost admitting that, yeah, that was a political job. In the full clip, which the NBC uh, did not air, Barr immediately went on to state explicitly that, in fact, he felt the Flynn's decision upheld the rule of law. Quote, I think a fair history would say it was a good decision because it upheld the rule of law. Barr said it upheld the standards of the Department of Justice and it, did un and it, and it undid what was an injustice. Chuck Todd and NBC deliberately manipulated a quote, by the way, my latest Bizarro World Goodman is up. My cousin, Bizarro World Goodman, weird guy, wished you a happy Mother's Day in his own bizarre way. So check that out. Subscribe to that channel and subscribe to H.A. Goodman's other channel. I have a great segment up on that. We're over 15,000 subs on H.A. Goodman's other channel. If you're on Facebook, uh, share right now. Everywhere on Facebook, please, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have Facebook. I don't have Twitter. But if you do, I suggest you delete the accounts because it's just going to be social media. It's a bunch of nonsense. But if you like it, if you enjoy it, and you have Facebook, share my latest Times of Israel article, Hillary Clinton, not Biden, will be Democratic nom will, will be nominee. And also share my Huffington Post article in 2017 calling all of this Hillary Clinton 2020 is a reality. Get ready for eight years of Trump. If you want to support my voice long term, my Patreon link is below in the pinned comment and description. Notice how they make such a big deal. And President Trump called for Chuck Todd to be fired over edited clip of Barr. Ladies and gentlemen, when you hear people give their their long-winded opinion on Trump and how he lies all the time and how he said this and how he called uh, the crisis a hoax and he and he um, said both sides were had fine people and he never said the, how he called a country a you-know-what hole. Oh, he never said those things. He never said he never was in a hotel room getting a golden shower. That was almost certainly Bill Clinton's um, autobiography. Oh, I remember that time in Moscow when I was getting $500,000 from a Moscow investment bank. And uh, oh my goodness, Vladdy, when I met with Vladimir Putin, Bill Clinton met with Vladimir Putin alone at his home outside Moscow. And, and nobody cared. I mean, you just, it's, it's really unbelievable, too. Like, you see this just really quickly. 
I mean, that's another another sick. Uh, 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 Putin. This is this is um. This is really. It's really amazing. You look. Russia uranium investigation Newsweek. Bill Clinton met Putin after asking to meet top nuclear industry official. This is a Newsweek article. When planning a trip to Moscow for speaking engagement in June 2010, former President Bill Clinton reportedly tried to meet with an official who was part of a Russian state-run company seeking approval to purchase a uranium uh, company with holdings in the, in the United States. So that, that was 20% of U.S. uranium capacity. And of course, you know, millions upon millions flowed into the Clinton Foundation, and but that had nothing to do with it. But he wanted to. Bill Clinton wanted to meet when planning a trip to Moscow for speaking a speaking engagement that he got half a million dollars for. In June 2010, former President Bill Clinton reportedly tried to meet with an official who was part of a Russian state-run company seeking approval to purchase a uranium company with holdings in the United States. Instead, Clinton ended up meeting with Vladimir Putin. So. Unbelievable. Bill Clinton meets with Vladimir Putin in 2010 at his home, and it's not a problem. After trying to meet with a with a with a um, an official who was part of a Russian state-run company seeking approval, so one of the Uranium One officials in he wanted to meet with them in Russia. Now, again, why? What does that have to do with uh, NBC selectively editing? President Trump never called the horrible racists uh, fine people. He was talking about conservatives who wanted to keep up statues, Civil War statues. Those conservatives also uh, protested throughout President Obama's administration. The spin, of course, and he condemned the violence, he, con he condemned the hatred all throughout the weekend. Look at the, the C-SPAN clips. The spin was... This is a, tra a tragedy and a travesty, and this is Trump's America. And look, he emboldened these people. He didn't condemn them enough. He said that they were both, and they took that clip, <clears throat> and they removed the context, and they said he said both sides. He said it, he said it like, like it was like an eighth grade class trying to torment and pick on a person. It was like a seventh or eighth grade class trying to torment a, 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 a student. And nobody cared. They set up and framed Trump using a dossier that Clinton purchased. Nobody cared. They edit and manipulate everything that, that William Barr just said on Meet the Press with Chuck Todd. Nobody cared. Nobody cares. And then they pontificate about lying. And, oh, Trump lies all the time. Trump doesn't lie as much as Hillary Clinton, and nor does he lie about things that are as grandiose. Trump never... Uh, owned servers with top secret and special access program intelligence for one of his foundations. Hillary Clinton owned servers with the intent to hide communication. That's why you would own a server. That's why Inspector Clouseau, James Comey, had to pretend there was no intent. You don't even need intent. You think they, you, they got 30 plus indictments based on process crimes where there cer certainly wasn't intent because they got people to, 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 to um, mix up dates regarding when they sent emails. Oh, you lied. Okay, and then they got the, George Papadopoulos. They, he forgot about an email he sent to Mifsud, who, by the way, was sent to go after Papadopoulos. Then he, then he deleted a Facebook account. And they called that obstruction, obstruction of, du of justice. They, they give and, and um, assign, ascribe intent motive when it's Trump. They focus and eviscerate and, and try to uh, point out, well, you know what Trump said? He never worked with Russia. That's a lie. Or, or you know what? You know what was one of the lies they said? the other. I was reading like all these, a lot of these are opinions, viewpoints. When Trump said that, that, um, that there are questions that, that Joe Biden is corrupt and, um, there are questions about why he fired a prosecutor. And then they, then they say, well, that's a lie. There was no, there no questions at all about why Biden fired a prosecutor. That's not a lie. So therefore, everyone who ever said that Trump works with Russia is lying. Well, it's true, they are. But 
the 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 entire three years of people saying he withheld military assistance to go after Biden. There's no evidence of that. Where's the evidence? They never say uh, media and Democrats without evidence impeach President Trump because uh, he the, he wanted to withhold military assistance and interfere in the election. They say, well, a lot of people feel he did. It's their viewpoint, and that's why he's guilty. And 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 uh, they don't do, they don't talk about correlation, uh, you know, not equaling causation, or cause yeah. So they say, well, it happened, and a lot of people believe that it happened for this reason. Uranium One gives money, Boeing gives money, uh, 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 UBS gives money to the Clinton Foundation, $10 billion in Haiti, nowhere to, unaccounted for, uh, weapons deals, uh, countries get, give money to the Clinton Foundation, they get exponentially greater weapons deals than President, uh, President, even Bush's neocon administration. Peter Schweitzer... Um, anybody who looks at this, Clinton Cash, John Solomon, uh, Tom Fitton, Judicial Watch, um, anyone who looks at this objectively, Rudy Giuliani, anyone who looks at the Clinton Foundation objectively knows it's an obvious money laundering racket. An obvious money, and you don't want to talk about tax issues. They'll probably do what they did with Al Capone with, with, uh, with uh, Hillary Clinton and get her on taxes eventually. Regarding, you know, these bogus charities. But they didn't investigate. One of the one of the top prosecutors in New York who tried to go after, I don't even want to get into it, said something absurd about uh, Kentucky. But I believe it was Kentucky. But anyway, he, he was given the Clinton Foundation to investigate, found nothing. In the, when the Southern District is given any Democrat, they find nothing. Isn't that interesting? But then they go after President Trump with a vengeance. But why didn't they start a Uranium One investigation based on William D. Campbell, an informant, and based on all the evi uh, circumstantial evidence? Because circumstantial evidence and suspicion and the viewpoints of experts are meaningless when it could be leveled against a Democrat, or mainly Clinton. But they impeached President Trump because correlation equals causation when it's Trump. Correlation never equaled causation with Clinton. So they, they have no value system. Believe, believe, believe against Kavanaugh. Don't believe when it's Biden. Climate change, climate change. Uh, l uh, largest expansion of domestic oil and gas production with, with President Obama. And then, oh, kids in cages, kids in cages. Oh, okay. Uh, who built the cages, President Obama, and he deported more human beings than any other president ever. So you're talking about a mass amnesia. They don't, they don't, not only do they not have a value system, but they don't have a memory. They don't have memory. They, they don't, they have, they have this, like, this is a horrible phrase, but it's political Alzheimer's, where, um, I might have coined that phrase right now, but it's a dis it's probably d disgusting euphemism or phrase or whatever. But they, they do. They have political amnesia. They forget what they want to. They remember only what they want to. And everything is purely for political gain. Democrats and media and liberals in general and a great many progressives, what they've done is they've politicized outrage values um they have <laughs> pretended to care about lying when it suits them and who tells the biggest lies clinton both clintons president trump has not told a lie as grandiose and as consequential to national security as oh we're going to uh, engage in a nato intervention to save the people of libya that would be considered a lie if if, if trump had done that because the people of libya were not saved the country is, has been in turmoil for the past decade because of President Obama's failed NATO intervention. And in terms of national security and cybersecurity, nothing, no bigger lie than I deleted yoga emails and I use servers for convenience. And then in the terms of the rule of law, no bigger lie than, oh, well, Attorney General Loretta Lynch meeting with Bill Clinton to speak about golf, Brexit, and grandchildren. So you hear these people complaining about President Trump lying and a lot of the lies they attribute to Trump are differences in opinion, not necessarily a lie. 
But when they, when when you hear President Obama say, "Oh well, I didn't know of the servers," he's obviously lying, and that's a bigger lie than anything Trump has ever said. How do you not know that your um, own Secretary of State has servers outside of the United States government funneling classified and top secret data, finding finding some way to migrate the data? How do you not know that? Of course, it's a lie. But again. We have this situation where everything's selectively edited. Everything, look, Democrats will lose. And when they do lose with Hillary Clinton, because Clinton is going to be nominee, they didn't set up and frame President Trump so they could uh, nominate Biden, who's a train wreck beyond belief. What a sleazeball. The only, you want to talk about sleazeballs? You think that Trump and Kavanaugh have one person who filed a police report against them? Biden has a police report and the 1993 call-in and court records, 1996 court records, uh, corroborating. You have infinitely more evidence that they can, infinitely more information they consider evidence, but infinitely less outrage because it's on their side. The biggest hypocrites on the planet. Give me your thoughts below. Subscribe to Bizarro World, Goodman right now and subscribe to H.A. Goodman's other channel. If you're on Facebook, share my latest Times of Israel article. Hillary Clinton, not Biden, will be nominee. I will make the I will have made the biggest political call of all time.